I'm Sven Beckert. I'm a professor of uh, history at Harvard University and I just published uh, Empire of Kartner Global History. But the book covers the, the entire history of Kartner. It covers it from a global perspective, so it deals a lot with the agricultural side of the story, which has a lot to do with slavery in the Caribbean and Brazil and the southern United States. But it also very much focuses on the industrial side of the story, which first unfolded in Western Europe, in England and France, and then the northern United States, but eventually also in places like India, Brazil, Mexico, and elsewhere. And, uh, and it, it, it does uh, d you know, the talk uh, the fair amount about uh, the, the, the difficult working conditions, not just on the slave plantations, but also in the manufacturing enterprises uh, in the industrializing parts uh, of, of, of the world. And that's a story that in some ways it doesn't continue in this particular way in Western Europe because, or, in, or in New England because that industry almost uh, disappears. But that industry then moves into other parts of the world, such as China today and Bangladesh and Vietnam, and often work, working conditions in these parts of the world are still uh, quite as bad as they, they were in, in Western Europe in the 19th century. So this is one of the stories that the book tells. At a certain point in the history of cotton, the Caribbean plays a very central role because it's in the Caribbean that f for the first time in the mid-18th century that enslaved workers, expropriated lands, and Europe European capital are combined to produce cotton for European industry. Uh, and this is an innovation that had not been around in the world before. It emerges in the Caribbean in the 1750s. It then moves to Brazil by the 1780s. And in the 1790s only, it moves into the southern parts of the United States. And those southern parts of the United States then become the world's most important region for the growing of cotton for world markets. So the Caribbean, in a way, is quite central to the unfolding of this empire of cotton that I describe in my book. It's a great honor to be uh, nominated for the Condell Prize. Uh, and it's uh, you know somewhat of a surprise. I mean, as, as you can imagine, I spent about ten years researching the book. I spent many, many uh, weeks in uh, dusty archives and remote locations. And when you're in the middle of it, you can't really imagine uh, that this uh, you know a is ever going to be a book that is going to be widely read. And then you can even imagine less a moment like this one. And so I'm you know delighted that uh, my book has uh, not just found an audience. Uh, uh, in many different parts of the world, but now that it's also being recognized uh, with the nomination for the Kandel Prize. Mm -hmm.